I'm here with Deidre Aziza. I, I was really impressed with your performance in Passing Strange. Thank you. Which was, it's one of my favorite shows, and I love, I love Stu. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How, what was it like to work with Stu? Stu's great. I yeah. mean, it was it was very liberating because um, because he was coming from the side of a musician and not the theater. You know, it was he was very free with our decisions and things we wanted to do, and mm -hmm. he was very willing to try new things. And it was it was great. It was great. Yeah. I love Stu. Me too. And and Heidi, what was Heidi yeah. like? Heidi, Heidi's so sweet. <laughs> Heidi and I like really had a like a kinship. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. always like take our breaks together. And, we always had bathroom breaks together. I don't know. Oh, kind really? Of <laughs> That's Made nice. Us really close. No? Uh, <laughs> Heidi's really sweet. I love her. Do you, um, do you know the line "What's inside is just a lie." Yeah. <laughs> what, what is your take on "What's inside is just a lie"? Um, you know, there's so many interpretations of it. I, I hate to uh, to skew anyone's particular thought process on it. Right. But um, for me, it's pretty much like all the things we've been filled to believe by society, mm -hmm. you know, is what creates us, and it's all BS. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you on that. <laughs> like and, the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. So, is there a favorite song that you have in, in Passing Strange? Oh, wow. I mean, you had so many I mean, solos. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I definitely, you know, I fell in love with Keys because, you know, that was, that was my latest song that I sang all the time. Um, my favorite part, though, musically, was the church scene because I felt like we were really, like, creating this spirit and this energy, which we then carried through to the rest of the place. So right. that, that bit of music there in church, you know, mm -hmm. I identify with that, too, coming from Georgia. Oh, yeah? Baptist church and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I like the key one a lot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you can have my key, right? Yeah. <laughs> But, um, uh, well, can you tell me a little bit about the show that you're doing now? Sure. Um, I'm going to be doing We Are Here at New York Stage at Home with um, Cheryl Cowher. I'm very excited to work with her. And um, Tracy Thorne, very, very smart playwright. And um, I play a mom who loses her child. Um, and it's... It's a story about loss and recovery and how you deal with, you know, such traumatic events when you've never had to deal with anything quite like that. And, right. of course, that's one of the most traumatic things that any lover could ever experience. Right. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a play, no music, and I'm very excited. Oh, great. So, when, when, is it, when does it start for you? Uh, we start... June 29th, uh, but we leave for Poughkeepsie on the 14th. I've never been to Poughkeepsie. Okay. How far is <laughs> so, Poughkeepsie from New York? It's about an hour and 45 minutes. Oh, it's so pretty far. Not, not so bad. I'm, I'm so used to, like, you know, these long train rides and traveling down to Georgia by car. And oh, and well, that's like that. nothing. So, like, Poughkeepsie, I'm like, hour and 45? Yeah, I can do that. Before. That's great. So, uh, that's yeah. great. And how long will it be playing in Poughkeepsie? Um, it will just be there until July 11th, so just a short run. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, yeah, very, very much looking forward to it. Spending some time like on an actual campus, you know, uh -huh. Pastor College. Right. I went to NYU, so not much of campus. Right, not right. real campus. Right, right. So, well, okay. <laughs> nice. Well, congratulations, and um, people Thank have you. to go to if you're near if they live near Poughkeepsie, they should definitely come and see it. Yeah, if I you want to take a nice there. little day is, trip. Is there know? how long a train? Is there a train that goes directly there? Yeah, um, Metro North. Yes? Grand Central Station, yeah. Oh. Okay. You can come stay with me. <laughs> okay. Just call me up. Yeah. Pat, Pat Addis is friend, too, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm Pat Addis' friend. It's a party. <laughs> come on is Stu, is, Will Stu be there, too? <laughs> no, no. Stu's know. actually doing uh, Shakespeare on the Sound again. In Connecticut, right? Yeah, so he'll be, you know, over here. I'll be over here. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. It's, it's a pleasure to finally get to do this interview with you. Thank you. Oh, and also, uh, July 24th. Joe's Pub. I'm making my singing debut there. Oh, we need yeah. to tell me a little more about that before. So, um, basically, it's I'm going to be covering some new musical theater writer songs, um, oh. but in a jazz vein. Oh, and sounds also great. Some original material that I've. Is it written. just you? All it's you? just me. It's just oh, me. I want to go. Finally, Hook my solo up. singing Hook debut. Hook me up with that. I want to see that. <laughs> Press pass for you. Absolutely. So, uh, and then in the fall, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown at Lincoln Center. So oh, fantastic. You're really busy. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, well, you really are a very talented person. I, oh, I loved you in Passing Strange. That was the, the only thing I've seen you in, I believe. Yeah. Um, but I was really impressed. It was, it was wonderful. So, yeah, thank you. So people have to come see you at Joe's Pub. Yes, come out. Joe's Pub, Saturday, July 24th. Okay, thank yeah. you.